Hi, this is Sophia from Scrappy Media, and today I'm going to show you how to create this lovely little flower by um, by using a pair of scissors and some paper. I am using this recycle book paper as my um, my paper for my flower. I'm also going to use some oil pastels that I have, and they're the real cheapy kind that I bought some time ago for my daughter, so you don't need real expensive pastels or anything like that. You are going to need some oil because... Um, and I'm actually using mineral oil or baby oil, and I like the scent. That's why I decided to use the baby oil, and it's what I had. Because when you do, when you put the pastels, you get that little streak kind of look. But however, if you take some baby oil in a little bit of cotton, and you you place that on the pastel, see how nicely it blends. And that's what I want. I want a nice little blended look. And I'm going to teach you how to do that for the whole page. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, an embossing tool with a mouse or some kind of cushion to emboss your flowers. We're going to cut everything in four. We got four by fours and these are three by three shape. You're also going to need some Mod Podge. I create my own Mod Podge by using um, half solution of um, glue with half of water so one part to one part of water if you want it to be thicker then you want to increase instead of one to one you may want to put um, maybe two-thirds to one or however you want to do it but mine's a little water and I like it light watery because it, I think it helps to me it helps adhere my pieces and gives a nice coat um, when it's when it's a little more watery and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start with my yellow. And what you're going to do is you're going to just apply your pastels on a piece of paper. And it's okay if I broke that. That's fine. We'll just cut that piece off. And then use some orange. And I'm doing like an ombre effect on here. Then I'm going to finish it with the red. Then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to put some baby oil like I did earlier. And I'm just going to use that to blend the pastels on my paper. So, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and put a coat because if you notice it's kind of oily. I don't know, I just feel like it. And you can see the sheen how oily it is. So I like to seal it and also it will give it more strength to my piece because this is um, book paper and it's kind of fragile. So I feel that if you put a little bit, a little coat of Mod Podge on here, it will make it a little sturdier. So that way it will hold up to my embossing. And either you can heat set this. Or you can just let it dry. So I already have, I prepared one. I was prepared ahead of time. So I already got one that I um, put some Mod Podge and it's ready to go. And see how nice and sturdy it is. And you can even see a little sheen on this. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in 4 by 4s Now that I have 4 by 4s I'm going to take my first in my first square and then I'm going to fold it in half to create like a triangle. Then I'm going to fold that in half, but it's just going to mark the middle. So I'm going to just pinch the middle here and open it up and then I'm going to fold this the um one of the tails, I'm going to fold it up so right at the middle point, I'm going to fold it up on an angle and then press it down. And then I'm going to take the other one, fold it as, at an angle and press it down. And see, it's still open there, so i got to do a little better on my fold. You want to make sure that it's nicely, see how it's kind of even here? So there's the middle, so just go on an angle and then over. 
and you want a nice even fold right there and also it needs to meet over here then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut the tops off so I got something like this and then if I want a skinny so let's see the two two different type of flowers I'm doing so this is a little fat flower and this is a little skinny flower so you want to create um, both type of flowers so if I want a really skinny flower I'm gonna start like around a quarter inch in or yeah like a quarter inch in and then round my petal to a point you can see there turn it over do the same thing on the other side quarter inch start a quarter inch down and then round it at a point and you got to be careful you don't cut the the here because you want to keep that intact so your flower will stay together and then when you open it there's a flower if you cut it like this one I cut by accident I cut it into the fold so what I had was two pieces of petal like that that's what you get if you're not very careful when you cut so let me do it again this time I'm going to show you how to do the fat flower or the flat fat petal fold it in half fold it in half again score the middle the midpoint like that take one of the sides and then fold it up on the midline and press take the next side and bring it over make sure everything is nice and even Notice that it's nice and even there, and is it's even here. Cut the top off, and then this time, this one's going to be a little fatter. So I'm going to start like a quarter inch down, go out, and then over, like that. Turn it around, quarter inch from the bottom up, go out, and then over and move your your paper instead of your scissors and now that created your bigger thicker flower as you can see there let's go ahead and do one with the little one the little the um the three by threes and see notice this i didn't do a good job on cutting my paper completely squared just make sure your points meet together. As long as your points are even, you can always sniff, snip that excess, excess there and see here, eh, it's about even. So I don't have to worry about snipping that. It's even. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring corner to corner, press the midpoint, open it, and then fold one side in and then bring the other side over like so make sure everything is even okay cut the excess off and then depending however you however you want your flower you want to start a little lower And you get something like that and then you open it up carefully open it up and there's your flower okay so now let's go ahead and create our shape and you're gonna need an embossing tool and then pick the flowers you want to use want to use this fat one make a skinny one and for this one let's use two of those flowers and I'm going to alternate the colors and then I'm going to use a small one okay so these are the ones I'm going to use and then you're going to take your embossing tool and just emboss the flower
just take your your embossing tool and just go around the petal and the reason why I use Mod Podge is to also give it a little bit of stability and make it a little stronger because if I try to emboss the paper let me see if I have a piece of paper here Okay, so this one hasn't been treated. When you try to emboss it, it kind of breaks on you. See how it breaks? So if you put a little bit of, of treatment, either the, the um, Mod Podge or even the oil, it should make it a little sturdy. However, this one broke, but that's okay. But it should make it a little sturdier than if you didn't use any any Mod Podge. Okay. And these are so easy to make. I really like that um, I'm able to create my own flowers without a punch. Just simply some scissors, an embossing tool, and that's all you need. And a little bit of watercolor or color or pastels or acrylic, anything like that. You can use any any type of coloring um, material that you have to give it the color and the form. Okay, turn it over. The next thing I want to do is I do want to put a little bit of starch because I want to make it stiff and keep its form. So I feel like if I introduce a little starch I think it will help maintain the form and then if I use my heat tool and it is still a little wet so let me bring something else that will help me speed up the heating process if you have a cardboard and you put some aluminum on aluminum what it, this is going to help it's going to help heat up the the flour more evenly because the aluminum will retain the heat and it will help me heat up this flour a lot quicker. I'm going to go ahead and it, emboss it again a little more. Okay, so now I'm ready to put it together. So I'm going to lay my first petal and I'm just using the tacky glue. And actually I used a little too much tacky glue, but that's okay. Then I'm going to put the second petal and I'm going to offset it a little bit, tapping it down. Next petal. And then my last petal. Or my last flower. And I'm going to take, let's see, a large jewel. And I think that will look lovely. The center of this flower. And there's my flower. So here's one. And here's the other flower. And I hope you liked this tutorial. And thank you for watching. Bye now.